everybody um this is true seeker here i just wanted to make a short video to let everybody know that there has been another information drop put into the fbi vault on stephen paddock um from freedom of information requests uh we're believing that this is michelle's freedom of information request because they told her they would give her over 10,000 pages on Paddock, and so far this is the second drop. There's only a fraction of pages of what she's expecting, and also everything's redacted. So I'm going to put the links down in the comment section for everybody so you can go to the vault yourself. I'm also going to go through the steps on how to get to the vault and find these documents if you don't know how. Okay, what you need to do is type FBI Vault into the search bar, and it will take you to this. A lot of us just have this bookmarked. It's really good to have bookmarked. We go back maybe once a week, every so often, and click on it to watch for new documents. Um, if you don't know the history of these Freedom of Information requests, it's a law. They have to supply information and make it available it's set up so that the government can be held accountable and not hide things from us unless they're classified um the shooting was in 2017 and we've literally been waiting years everybody that i know that has put in freedom of information requests they're getting for years documentation back telling them that they're not going to send them the information, this, I'm paraphrasing, right now because the information will all be put in the vault. And I think that's how they're getting around the legality of having to provide the information. But like I said, it's been years and we've only had two drops in the vault and they've been recent. And anyways, go to the FBI vault. You'll see it right here. You click on this right here this will take you to the fbi vault page which has interesting stuff on other topics if you go to recently added right here and click on it you will see stephen paddock part two that's what we're looking for if you scroll down you will find oh well i guess it's not in the scroll down so you would then have to go to the search vault or the a to z Anyways, the one we're looking for is this part two here. It is over 300 pages long, but I want to show you something. You can either make it larger to read it where it's still really hard to read, but if you save it down here as a PDF to your computer, then pull it up, then it's larger to read. Um, here's the 316 pages. I'm down at the bottom. But anyways, yeah, when it's saved in your computer, it's larger to read, which makes it really easy on your eyes. And then you can just scroll through it and read it and take notes or whatever it is that you want to do. I'm going to put the link to this down in the comment section under this video, and I'll pin it up as the top comment. So... You can go and read all of this yourself. If you're not subscribed to Pointed Stick, go over to his YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the comment section. Here's how you find his channel. Type Pointed Stick up in the search bar on YouTube. Click on this one. This will take you to his channel. He does live streams when these new documents come out. He's actually really funny the way he goes through them. Um, YouTube has a new feature. When you go to their page, it shows this. These are older videos. You have to hit on live now to go to the live streams. That's good to know for my channel too, because I was like, why are my live streams hidden? Because usually we do live streams. Anyways, here's the two that he did on this recent freedom of information request he goes through them um, and there's also the live streams from the last one that came in so yeah definitely go over and um, subscribe to him and watch for put the notifications on and watch for his live streams if you don't want to actually read these documents you can just listen to him go through them he usually goes through them before we've actually gone through them with a magnifying glass 
um, you know, they come out and he just scrolls through and then later a bunch of us will like go through them really, really slow and like see if there's anything, you know, that we need to cross match with old documents we've got. I've got to put my copyright disclaimer in here for YouTube so they don't try to nail my video. Um, you can read this. It's always in my uh, description. It's fair use, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some useful information out of it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notifications and everybody have a good day.